So, do you have an old Windows laptop or an old Windows tablet, such as a Microsoft Surface 2? And are you feeling that it is now a bit too slow with Windows on it? Well, maybe you might want to consider installing Google's Chrome OS Flex onto it. Now, two things about Chrome OS Flex. One, you can actually run it live off a USB stick, which is something that I will be doing in another video. Or two, you you can install it direct to the drive on the computer, which is what I will be doing in this video. And to be clear, this particular method will wipe out windows on the computer that you install it to. So if there are any important documents or files on the laptop or the desktop that you are going to install Chrome OS Flex onto, make sure that you have backed them off first because everything will get wiped out. So what we need to do in order to prepare a USB flash drive with Google Chrome OS Flex on it is to do it via the Chrome browser. This at the moment is the only way that you can actually prepare one of these USB flash drives. So as we can see here, I have got my Chrome browser open. Now the next thing that we need to do is to make sure that we have got Chromebook Recovery Utility installed as an extension to the browser. And if you don't already have this extension installed onto your Chrome browser, there will be a link in the description to this video taking you to where you can install this particular extension. So what I'm gonna do now is just click on Add to Chrome. So I'll click there, and then I will click on Add Extension. That's gonna install very fast now. There we go, so that's now installed. So. What I'm now going to do is go to my extensions icon up here and click on that. Now within the extensions list here, I only have a few. You may have a lot or may only have one or two, but just find the extension that says Chromebook Recovery Utility and then click on that. Now once the Recovery Utility is open, it will tell us here You'll need an eight gigabyte or larger USB flash drive or SD card that you don't mind erasing. Now in this instance, I would strongly suggest that you use a USB flash drive and not an SD card and just use the fastest flash drive that you can use as well. And just obviously make sure it is at least eight gigabytes. And then what we're gonna do is click on get started. Now on the next page, we're gonna see this option that says select a model from a list. So let's click on that. And then where it says select a manufacturer, we'll click on there. We will then scroll down until we find Google Chrome OS Flex. So we will click on that. And now what we've got here is select the product, click on that, and then we will select Chrome OS Flex now, right now, because this is in early development, this is the developer and the unstable mode that I'm going to be installing right now. However, depending upon when you may see this guide, this may be the final version. Nonetheless, I'm gonna select on this Chrome OS Flex. Now what I'm going to do is just click on continue here. And then what it's gonna ask us here is to insert your USB flash drive or SD card. Now I've already got my USB flash drive connected to my computer, so you go ahead and connect yours. And then what we need to do is come down here and click on select. Now this is going to give us a list of all the flash drives connected to the computer. Now right now, I would strongly recommend that just so that you don't erase anything by mistake, only have the flash drive connected that you want to install the operating system onto. Just as I have here, just one drive, so I can't get confused and then maybe just delete the wrong drive. So anyways, that's the one that I'm going to use. I'm just gonna click on that. And the next thing to do here is to click continue. This will now prompt us and say, create a recovery image. Important, all data and partitions on your recovery media will be deleted. So this is just reminding us once again that the flash drive that we're using is going to get completely erased. Now what I'm going to do is to click on create now. So let me do that. Now what this is saying is don't remove your recovery media. So this is saying here, download and 4% complete, two minutes remaining. I don't know how long this is gonna take in the long run and it will be different from person to person. This will be dependent upon your internet speed and such. So what I'm gonna do right now is just speed through this, but I will let you know roughly how long this has taken from this point in order for me to get to the next point of the video.
Okay, so up to this point, this took about two minutes to get to this point. So what this is saying here is, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? So I'm obviously going to say yes here. So I'm just gonna click on yes. And what's going to happen now is that the recovery utility will start burning the disk image to the USB flash drive. And once again, I will just speed up through this until it is completed. Okay, so as we can see, the burning of the disk image to the flash drive is now being completed. This took about another minute and a half. But as we can see here, we've got a message saying, you need to format the disk in drive J in my instance, although this might say a different letter on your system before you can use it. Now definitely do not format the drive what it is, this message may pop up for you as well. This is basically Windows saying that it has got a flash drive connected that needs formatting. That's only because Windows doesn't understand what is on the drive. So just go ahead and then click on the X and we'll get rid of that message here. We might have to click through a few times depending upon how many drives it thinks you've got attached. And so now we have got Google Chrome OS Flex installed onto a bootable USB flash drive. And this can now be used to boot and launch Chrome OS Flex onto any compatible Windows desktop or laptop and also compatible Mac desktops and laptops. Now getting into the installation, the first thing I'm going to recommend is that you make sure that your laptop or whatever computer you may be doing this with is connected to power. And the next thing to do is to make sure that our USB flash drive which contains the installer for Chrome OS Flex is connected to the computer. Now when we power up the computer, we need to use its boot key in order for us to get access to the USB flash drive to boot from that. Now the boot keys on different computers are accessed in different ways. I will have in the description to this video, a list of some of the commonly used boot keys for some of the commonly used computers. However, for this particular computer, which like I've already said, is a Surface 2, the way to boot to the USB stick on this is to hold the power button down and then also hold the down button on the volume as we switch on. So I'm going to power on whilst holding the down button on the volume rocker like so and I'll keep my fingers firmly held onto both of these buttons until I see that screen, then I'm going to let go, and then this should automatically boot to the USB flash drive, and there we go, it has gone to the USB flash drive. Now there's another thing worth noting here as well, you can also do this from the BIOS, not just of this particular laptop, but any computer basically. And what that means is you can actually set the boot order in the BIOS to go straight to the USB flash drive. However, it's probably just easier to do it via the boot key. Oh, something's talking to me here, hold on. No, stop that. <laughs> okay, so as we can see, we are now ready to start the installation. So what I'm gonna do here is just click here to say, get started. So there we go. Now we have two options here, install Cloud Ready 2, which is basically Chrome OS Flex, or try it first. Now this try it first option, I will be doing a video about that. That's basically live running the USB stick. But we're going to click on this install cloud ready to make sure it is ticked so let me just go next on there and then here we're just getting a warning like i've already said anyway about making sure that you've backed up any data that's on your system so once again any important data make sure it is backed off before you do this because this will wipe out the internal drive of the laptop Anyways, I'm just now gonna click on Install Cloud Ready 2. And again, Install Cloud Ready 2 and Erase Hard Drive. Again, a proper firm warning about erasing the entire drive. So let's hit Install again. There we go. Now it's gonna go off and it's just gonna start installing. Now at this point, I am going to speed this up However, once it is sped up, I will give you an idea of how long this part of the process has taken me. 
Okay, so right now, this is saying installation complete. Now, this was saying it could take up to 20 minutes. However, I would say that took less than two minutes on this particular system, so that's really cool. So what it's saying here is your device will shut down in 42 seconds. Now, what I'm gonna do anyway is just jump the gun on this, and I'm gonna click a manual shut down here. Okay, so it's gonna shut down. Now, what I'm going to do is take out my USB stick, okay? Now what I'm going to do is just power on as normal and then this will carry on with the installation procedure. So power on as normal. No need to double click anything or go to any boot menus. We are now going straight to the internal storage and this will start launching as we can see here. Now at this point, we're gonna be getting prompted as well as to do we wanna activate Chrome Vox. You can do that. I just don't want to do that. And then now it is going to ask us to connect to the internet via Wi-Fi. Now, for obvious reasons, I've blanked out part of the screen here, but I'm just going to select the Wi-Fi that I want to use here. Then I'm going to put my password in. You just do the same. Now, at this point, we're going to get some Google Terms of Service and such. You can stop at this point and start reading things if you want to. However, I kind of need to get through this as quickly as I can. Now, it's saying here, system security settings help improve Google OS features. Well, I'm just going to say yes to that anyway. So there we go. You don't have to. Now, at this point, it's going to ask us who is going to be using this particular Chrome device. Is it going to be you or a child? And very importantly, if it is going to be a child, then definitely select child because then that will give you access to filtering the content for your child and stuff. As for me, though, this is for me. So I'm going to click you and make sure it's clicked there and ticked. Then I will click next. And then at this point, it is asking us to log in with our Google ID. Now for obvious reasons, I'm gonna blur this, but let me just get on with it. And then the next screen is going to ask us for our password for our Google ID. Once again, for obvious reasons, I'm going to blur the screen out and then move on. And then at this point, it is going to ask us, do we want to sync with our other Chrome devices? Well, I always do this anyway, so I've got consistency across my devices. So I'm just gonna say accept and continue. And then from here, it's gonna give us a little bit more information here to do with cloud ready to hardware data collection and stuff like that. Now, the thing is, I'm just gonna leave everything ticked on as far as the request that Google are gonna ask for. Cause at the end of the day, I kind of don't mind help and giving like, you know, extra analytics and stuff if it's going to help these things to become better in the future. And now it's going to ask us, do we want to set up Google Assistant? I'm not really into it, so I'm just gonna say no thanks. Although if you want to use that, just click on I agree, but it's no thanks for me. And then from here, I'm just gonna go no thanks again because this is gonna go on about how you address like, you know, your assistant through Hey Google and stuff like that. Again, you can agree to that. I just don't wanna do that, so no thanks. And now it's saying you are all set. So let me just click on get started. And here we have it then, Chrome OS on this Surface 2. So what I'm gonna do here is just kind of click through a few things, just let you see that stuff is working. Now, I've actually already been using this a little bit because I've already tried it before doing this video. And I have to say, it is extremely fast and really snappy on this system. So yeah, this is something that's definitely gonna breathe new life into this particular system. Now, another thing here that's probably worth looking at, if I just go to settings here, hold on. So as we can see here, under device and inside storage management, I've got 102 gigabytes still left on my internal SSD. So basically, yes, Chrome OS Flex has used the entirety of the SSD that's with inside this Surface 2. And now I've just got the YouTube app open here and also as well, the stylus for the Surface seems to be working brilliantly. So I've got one of my videos on. So what I'm gonna do is play it and then I will go full screen with it as well. And let's see if it can handle that in full screen. Now the audio might not be that that loud but that's just going to be the speakers off the surface it's got nothing to do with chrome os flex but let's just see what it does here all right youtube david harry here and last year 2021 youtube paid my small youtube channel eight thousand eight hundred and eighty three dollars and eleven cents okay as we can clearly see there no problems with the youtube app and just a quick look on the chrome web store so as we can see here there's a section with a ton of extensions on and stuff there now below that we've then got themes so a lot of themes as well that you can be getting into then we've got the main apps 
and as we start looking down here we'll probably start seeing some familiar apps well there's spotify and soundcloud and stuff i mean there's gonna be tons of apps in there so yeah just go searching and looking through that stuff and then under there we've got games and in there we're just gonna have like tons of your typical mobile games now that should be enough just to give us a bit of a taster there as to like how chrome os flex is looking on this surface too and how it was responding and to be honest it was brilliant really fast but what i'm gonna do is just see how quickly it boots down and then powers back up again okay and just to make sure that there's no issues so i'm gonna hit the power button select shut down Let's see how long that takes. I'll do this in real time. In fact, that's actually switched off already. <laughs> okay, so no, no having to speed through that. Now let me just power it back on again. Let's see what happens here. So that's the pre-boot screen for the Surface. So that's not Chrome just yet. Hold on. That's the Chrome now starting. And let's see. Wow. Okay, let me just put my password in. Okay, there's enter off my password. And we're straight into the desktop. Okay, well, do you know what? Let's see. That is, do you know what? That is insanely fast. I'm really, really impressed by that. Okay, so no need to go deep diving in an end summary here. What I've just seen there absolutely proves that Chrome OS Flex runs amazingly on an old Surface 2. It was awesome. And if you are into Chrome and Android stuff, then check out some of my other videos. There will be more videos going up around the time of this one to do with Chrome OS Flex as well but on top of that I have also got an s22 ultra and a tab s8 ordered and I should have them on the day or the day after release and I also plan on doing a lot of nutty stuff with the 22 ultra and also the tab s8 and if this video has been useful please give it a thumbs up also consider subscribing to my channel if you're into this type of stuff and definitely get all over that bell notification icon and the last thing that remains for me to say right now as ever is I'm David Harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now